Imagine you're working on beats every single day. Well, there's always that one day that you just can't come up with anything decent. You have no inspiration, absolutely nothing. Don't worry, we all have those days. But I found a simple trick that forces me to stay creative. And that is looking at a different genre. For example, lo-fi. You then extract things you hear from lo-fi and put them in your own beats. By using the tricks you're about to learn in this video, your beats will sound better. I feel a lot better now. First, we're gonna take a look at the melody. Let's say we have this very simple chord progression. If you wanna make it sound more interesting, try adding seven notes. You can do that by simply skipping one highlighted note. That way you stay inside the scale. This will make it sound more jazzy or chill. Speaking of melodies, we can actually create a melodic bass instead of using a boring one note bass line. Don't be afraid to experiment inside the scale of your beat. Try messing around with the notes you're already using in your chords. Mess around until you have something like this. Offsetting your drum samples can give you the old groovy sound you're looking for. You can do that by holding Alt and dragging your notes a little bit to the left or the right. This will give you the sound of a human imperfection. You can actually do the same with your chords by pressing Alt plus S on your keyboard. Then with these controls you can create a strum effect on your notes. Now let's take a look at the snare in my beat. Something you can do is add a slight pitch modulation to the snares. That way every snare sounds unique and you kind of have the feeling there's a real drummer hitting the snare. To do that, open up the controls on the bottom left and click channel pitch. Then basically draw a curved line to modulate the pitch of the snare. What this is doing is actually just automating the pitch knob in the sampler. So the higher you crank this up, the more the pitch will change. Next, using ambience to give your beats color. You can kind of see it like a color grade on your video. You can use ambience to add texture and enhance the mood of your beats. You can find some nature sounds or maybe some space sounds, whatever you're looking for. You can even go outside and record your own sounds using your smartphone. It works perfectly with lo-fi. Like your car interior, for example. A kick snares or maybe some hi-hats there you go. Now, speaking of recording sounds, here comes the biggest trick of them all. Once you have a bunch of sounds, drag them into a file. I like to use Edison to select my sounds and then import them into the channel rack. You can then open up the sampler and further adjust them to your liking. Now there are two things you can do with these sounds. One, you can layer them with existing drum samples from a sample pack for example. This will give you very unique results. That's amazing, but if you want to take it a step further, use your recordings only as your drums. Quick tip, add an EQ to your sounds and cut off the lows, especially when you're trying to make claps, hats or percussions. Since we recorded the sounds ourselves, we need to perform some surgery to remove the resonance. To do that, create a bell shape like this and make it narrow. Then sweep through the spectrum until you find that ringing resonance. Then use the slider to turn down the band and make it a little wider. Of course, do that for all the samples you recorded with your phone. The next one, Lo-Fi has a very pumping effect and that is because of the sidechain. Now, if you want to learn how to sidechain your beats, Go click this video because I will teach you everything about it and in every way possible.